welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium for the next hour at least. So here we go again with another show. Some of the things I like to do at the beginning of every single show, first and foremost. Hey, Steve, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. Um... And then next, go in to thank everybody who carries my show, Rude Rangers TV. Thank you for carrying my show and streaming it, Rudy. I totally miss you. We need to do some more letters from the big book of letters. Um, <clears throat> WSCS, all the streaming stations that uh, they put my show out on, every single podcast, that it's on, which is almost all of the podcasts and the radio stations. Thank you all so very much. <laughs> did I just go Southern for a moment there? I don't know. I feel like I did. <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun today on the show. Okay. And next, I need to say thank you to everybody who is joining me live during the show. You guys keep the show going and growing. I love y'all so much. <laughs> what is this Southern thing going on right now? <laughs> so I want to say hi to Genevieve and Patrick. Um, to Fawn. Hey, Fawn. Um, Terry. <clears throat> And Caroline, yeah, those are that's everybody who's joined me so far. But I also know that I have so many people who are working right now. Hey, Erin, um, uh, that are working right now and listen to me after work. So, hey, Jess, Jess, I hope you're feeling better. Cindy, I love you too. Um, who else? There are just so many. Oh, um. Cheryl and Mimi, I love you guys. Um, and just everybody who listens. Hey, Heather. Um, if you do have, if you're watching live on YouTube every Monday and Wednesday, you can watch live on YouTube. And if you're watching live on YouTube, you can pop a question in there. I will answer it if I can uh, during the show. If you would like to call in and talk to me. <laughs> It's at your own risk. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Nobody's cried yet that I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, Cindy, you are right. I do make myself crack up so much. Um, so, okay. Uh, if you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. And again, like if you can't make this show, that's okay. I'm here every Monday and Wednesday. I do some pop-up shows. Okay, I keep promising pop-up shows. They're coming. Don't worry. They'll be here. <laughs> um, and what else? What else do I need to say, folks? What else? Hmm. I do feel like... Um, so Terry, um, Terry asked me if I have this little hair that is like just not going off of my face. I don't know why. Um, Terry asked me if they'd be able to travel in February. I do feel like by February, air travel is going to be good. I think in January, it's going to start to clean up a bit. I do feel like as of right now, and depending on what happens, I do feel like November air travel is going to be very, very difficult if we can do it at all. <clears throat> now, it, again, that all depends on what happens. I mean, I went to a drive through yesterday. I rarely do this, but I so I don't know how long this has been going on, but they shut down the inside of the restaurant again. Really, folks? For what? Anywho, let's get past that. Let's just keep moving right along here. Okay, let's just keep moving right along here. Um, I do have a question for everybody, though. I do. Um, I don't know if I should ask it. Hey, YouTube, should I ask the question I have for everybody? What do you think? Should I... 
Should I stir the pot a little bit? We are getting close to Halloween. Maybe I'm supposed to. Fawn, right away, Fawn. I love you, Fawn. Yes, ask. Heather, to ask. Okay, if we go into, you know, Caroline, yes. Thank you, guys. If we go into another, you must wear, you know, the face thing and shutdowns and stuff. A, will you believe it's necessary? And B, will you comply? That's my question. If you want, you can answer it on YouTube. If you don't want to, <laughs> Caroline, I love you. <laughs> Girl, I'm right there with you. <laughs> uh, if you if you want to answer, you can answer on YouTube. You do not have to. But I know in Illinois, the governor has already signed it into a mandate for the face thinger. And um, the schools here, the teachers that I have talked to have said they showed up Monday and they were told to start putting a muzzle on. So for whatever that's worth, we're, that's where we, uh, you know, that's where we are right now. So Genevieve, um, yeah, I agree, Genevieve. Um, yeah, I get, I get that, Heather. And thank you. So we are all in agreement that it would be very a very difficult pill to swallow that it's back and it's back at a rate or in a way that requires this. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining in. Okay, we are going to go to callers. If you have called in, um, I will say your area code. When I say your area code, just let me know where you're calling from and what's your name. And then have a specific question and or connection. Now, when I say a connection, I mean um, like a loved one from the other side, like my mom, Judy, my uncle, Bill, whatever that is. And then any question and or conversation you would have wanted to know from them. Now, if you've been watching my show for more than, you know, one time, if more comes in, I give it. If a loved one pops in, I will tell you if that's not why you're calling. But I do like to start with one specific question. And I do kind of like to try to keep it to one specific question because there's so many people that have called in. The call in number is 845-277-9131. Let's get growing. Let's rock this show. Here we go. 205. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Patricia calling from Alabama. It's always a pleasure. Hey, Thank Patricia. you so much for taking my call. Um, my question is, I will be starting um, a new um, contract tomorrow. Uh, I work in a health profession. And I want to know, how do you this job going, um, will it meet my financial needs? Okay. I, it, when you said, how do you see this going? Really good. It's going to go very good. Um, better than you expect. Of course, there's going to be a little chaos. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit of chaos. It'll be chaotic in the beginning. Um, there's going to be one or two bumps or hurdles for you to get over. As soon as you're through that, it's going to fly. The contract will fly by. Um, yeah, it will meet your needs and it will exceed one of them, maybe two. For the most part, it's going to go very, very well. Uh, the first month again, um, I asked while I, you guys, while I'm while I'm talking, I'm asking questions. So that first month I asked, like, how long is the chaos? And they said about the first month. So nothing big. Just get through that first month and you are going to do really well. You're really going to like it. They are going to want to extend your contract at the end of it. If they do, make sure they are compensating you. You don't get to re-up at the same rate that you brought me in. 
is the statement I'm hearing. And that is coming mm. from who I believe may be a grandma. She's actually right here. And there's a, somebody that age that looks like when I say grandma and grandpa, it doesn't necessarily have to be a grandma and or grandpa. It's somebody who passed it and they were more mature when they passed. They look to me, they're presenting, they're showing up looking like that grandma, grandpa age. So there's a woman here who was, um, she was uh, like, she's, uh, 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 like a grandma, and over here there's a male, and he's in a brown suit yeah. with his little hat. It's not a little hat, but a hat, uh, like those hat. I forget what they call those hats. Like everybody used to wear them back in the day. Um, not like a baseball hat, folks. Don't come at me with baseball hat. <laughs> Don't do it. Um, it's like a dress hat, like you know, it had the thing in the middle and the two things on the side that you could pick it. And the little rim around. Anyway, anyway, enough about that. Um, he's to my left and she's to my grandma, right. It's, I'm sorry, go ahead, it's love. Grandma and um it's it's grandmother because she she always comes in and um it's possible it could be dad because he's yeah. on the other side. They seem to come in either a one um a one or a Sometimes every now and then together. I okay. Love I love that. And I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't think they were a couple. And I'll tell you why. When a grandma and grandpa that, that are a couple, when anybody who's a couple, they, they are like right next to each other, one in front of the other or side by side. She's to the right of me. He's to the left of me. Now this, they could be related, mm. but I'm going to tell you, this is the way they're showing up. And it could be. It very well could be, Dad. What was your dad's name, hon? Um, Willie. Willie. Okay. Are you Willie? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I am. Uh, yes, uh, ma'am, I am. <laughs> oh, sucky, sucky. Man, I love what I do. Man, I love you guys. Thank y'all for being here. Who is this Southern person coming through today? Where is this coming from? It's not Southern. It's just like that. That way. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Let's get going here. Um, again, they don't get to re up for the same price they brought you in. If you want to add on, that's an add on like this, an add on. OK, now you see my value. You see my worth. We're going to we're going to compensate that. You want to keep me keep me happy all the way around. So what I'm what I'm hearing here is it's going to be your choice. If you, you know, you stay or go. I do feel like when this contract is up, you will have other options and they will be good options. Also, make sure you're price matching. <laughs> price matching like when your yeah. contract is up make sure you are looking at the value of the same contract at with other places so that the, the place you're with will definitely match that value or you're going someplace where where you're going to get that value um i do feel like you uh there's a mm, uh, 80 to 90 percent chance you're going to stay with this as long as they compensate you appropriately. And I always say, you know what? Uh, yeah, this is this might be a nice working environment. And I made a couple friends here. If you're really my friend and I go someplace else, we're still going to be friends. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm a lot of people. Uh, one thing I always I have to watch how I say this. You go to work to make money to pay your bills, to, to be able to live the life you want outside of that place of work. A friendship should not hold you back. It should push you forward regardless of. Yes. Um, so even if you're good with the boss, well, that boss, if you're really truly good with that boss and she's that boss is not just stoking you or stroking you to keep you um, without uh, valuing you, then if you go, that boss will still be your friend and respect your decision that somebody could have given you more. Now, having said all of that, when the time comes, you're going to know exactly what you want to do. And I do feel like you are going to get a bump in pay from this company if you do decide to stay with them, okay? Okay. And this is how we do it, folks. 
This is how we do it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, your loved ones say they love you and they'll see you in your dreams. Okay, so and um, one of them, your father, because they're falling around your father. Your father is saying uh, feathers, watch for feathers. I'm dropping feathers at your feet. So uh, look around when you're, you're outside. If you see feathers, pick them up and keep them as a reminder that he is... Um, that's one of his signs for you. Okay, love? Thank you. I love you, Tony. Many blessings. Thank you so much. Thank I, you. I love you too, sweetie. You have an amazing day and uh, have fun with your contract. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> blessings. I will. Blessings to you Bye -bye. too. Bye-bye, sweetie. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller. Um, if you would like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. After this, I'll go to YouTube and ask a question, answer a question. Hey, Susie, thanks for joining us on the show. Hi, 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is Katie and I'm in Georgia. Oh, Katie, I love Georgia. How are you today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going through a lot, but I'm okay. How are you? So good. Thank you so much. How can I help you today, love? Okay, so I want to actually move to Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm wondering, what's the easiest way for me to get there? Meaning financially, like I'm trying to um, decide, I, I, I need um, employment. And, um, but I'm just trying to decide the easiest route for you. And I'm wondering, I don't really want to go to stay with relatives. Like, that's my last resort to save up some money. But I'm tr my goal is to get to Charlotte, North Carolina. So I just, I guess, want to know how can I get there or when or I guess how can I get the money or to go? Okay. Thank you. So, okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, it depends on your timeline. Okay. If you're wanting to do this sooner mm -hmm. rather than later, um, a mm -hmm. family, a family, uh, a family live in family situation may be the only way to do it. If you're wanting to do this with, with a quickness, okay. Is the way they're saying this. Um, mm -hmm. if you're willing to be patient, um, but here's the thing, here's the thing I'm getting, sweetie. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> if you want to save up the money and have the money to live where you are right now living and then also save money to have for North Carolina, it's going to be very difficult because you're going to have to make like double income and work like 60 hours a week, which is fine. Now, one yeah. of the things I'm getting is if you want to yeah. do that, you have to get yourself a cash job and you have to get it quickly. I'm not, I'm not talking about anything illegal for all you smart butts on my show. I love you though. I love your <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Keep bringing them to me. <laughs> Keep bringing them to me. <laughs> no, she doesn't want to slang anything for you. No, no, she's not looking for that job opportunity, but thank you very much anyway. Um, I'm hearing unless you get a job that is like um, in the service industry, such as waitressing or bartending or something where you can make cash on hand doing lashes, brows, whatever it is where you're bringing in that cash every day, it's going to be very, very um, difficult for you to make, you know, pay all your bills where you are and then have yeah. extra saved up yeah. to make that move because a, a long distance move is not inexpensive, especially you have to get rid of a lot of things, get a lot I of know. new things. So what I'm yeah. hearing is your best, if you really want to get to North Carolina, your best first, and if you want to do it sooner rather than later, is to pick the least, <laughs> pick the Pick the family member that is your most in alignment with. <laughs> and then, you know, have a timeline uh, yeah. on it. And when you get to North Carolina, 
um, of course, find that position, but maybe find some place where you can, again, have that cash option position in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel like it might be better for you to go sooner rather than later, because if you wait, there might be a hiccup that's going to cause you to wait even longer than you thought you would have had to. Now, having said that, I would just say, you know, there's there's no easy answer to this particular situation yeah, I can for see you. That. I can, yeah, I can see that. But I'm just wondering, because I'm planning, um, say if I do go wherever, with a relative or whatever, I'm yeah. planning on at least trying to get the money uh, up or save up to move within within six months, like under six months. Yeah, that's going to be really doable. That's going to be just fine. And again, um, even if you, okay, and one thing, you, okay, so I'm hearing two separate things here. And the first thing is that, that okay. if you would like to, you can start looking for a work from home position that you can be in any mm -hmm. location at. So you're you're doing it here, right. but you can also do it there. So you don't have to worry about that. Like, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to not have a position. Mm -hmm. But the second thing I'm hearing is to definitely and 100% find a way to bring in extra cash. And again, I don't care if you're doing nails, if you're doing braids, right. if you're doing brows, if you're doing booty lifts with those little suction things they put on people's booties. I don't care what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. I don't care what you're doing. Find a way to bring cash in hand um and and go with that because mm -hmm. I feel like that's going to be the way to help you have the most secure, safest move. Now if you're putting six months, if you're putting in your destination in a six month time I feel like you're going to be able to do months. that very I wanna, quickly. Yeah, I want to be, and, yeah, I to be under six months. Yeah. Okay. But then, yeah. Then definitely follow the steps that they've given you, and definitely you should be there okay. in that time frame. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. Okay, love. Okay. You too. Bye bye. Mm, bye bye for now. I'm going to answer a YouTube question and then I'm going to go back to callers. Uh, uh, I think this is a question I just found out we are expecting. Congratulations, Susie. We're happy and excited, but we have so many obstacles to work through. What do you advise? How can we give back also. Okay, Susie, I need you to make that question a little bit more exact for me. Um, if I, I'm not sure when I read that. Um, we're happy and excited, but we have so many obstacles to work through. What do you advise? Uh, you know, I I'm going to say, Susie, I would advise you tackle them one at a time and you'd be very serious about this situation. But if you want to post a question that is a little bit more exact, um, I'll give you a more exact answer. OK, I am going to go to the next caller who is, I think, I want to say, see, this is why I can't look away from my switchboard. I think the next Caller is 908. Okay, this might be the last caller, but it might be the next caller. 908, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, good afternoon, Tony. This is Caroline. How are Caroline. you? <laughs> How can I help you, love? Well, I would like to connect either with my grandma or my dad, and her name is Eliza, and his name is Joaquin. And I wanted to talk, well, to really ask about my latest energy within the last 24 hours. I consider it a miracle where I had no confidence, you know, as you well know, <laughs> things were happening to me for a couple of months. And I just like felt that something was about to shift this week. And last night, I 
went to bed thinking tomorrow is the day and I'm on my invention <laughs> like a hawk. So I like to ask either one before I had a little conversation with them and I said, whoever wants to come through, you fight over yourself. You know, I would love to have either of those come through. Thank you, Tony. You are welcome. So um, they are both here and they're going to give you uh, basically a unified message where they, <clears throat> no matter who would speak, they'd say the same thing. Um, they're saying, uh, keep your mind positive. It's very important for you to not let what others say and do affect you in a negative way or to let yourself think other people's actions are about you. People act like who they are, not who they're around. Oh, wow. That's a great way of putting that. Um, and so um, let's work. Let's do a healing and clearing on um, insecurity. All insecurity has been cleared. We're going to clear this now because I get a no. You, every, you know, for everybody listening, watching, you may feel this, you may not. All that caused this insecurity and has kept this insecurity has been healed. I get a no. And it has been released. I get a no. Okay. So what I'm going to tell you, Caroline, is, um, and we, I think just about every single person does this. Um, and we're taught to do it from early on. The opinions and the behaviors of others towards us equal kind of how we feel about ourselves. That's the easiest way for me to put that. And we have to get into a place where the, the, the opinions and behaviors of others equal who they are as a human, not who we are. They're just like, if we're a good person, we're puking goodness on people. If we're a bad person, we're puking badness on people. If we're a horrible person, we're puking horribleness on people. If we're a kind person, we're puking whatever is inside of us is what we're puking on people. Or And excuse the term puking if it's offensive. I'm so, so sorry. Um, <laughs> I hope you picked up on all my sarcasm in that statement. If you can't handle the word puking. <laughs> um, I'm going to say who, what's inside of us is what comes out of us. We can fake it for a minute, but uh, um, or eventually everybody's going to see the truth about who we are and what we are, if we're genuine or if we're a POS, okay? Um, and all I can say for those people that are not good to us, you just have to move away from them as quickly as possible. And if you can't, you just have to, every time you're in their presence, realize, okay, this is all about this person. This is who they are. This is how they operate. I'm not taking this personally. And let's do another healing and or clearing. We take personally the behaviors, actions, and words of others. I get a yes. Let's clear that. Holy, 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 holy. And uh, all that caused this and has kept this as healed and cleared. Let's do that. Okay, there we are. And I hope that's helpful, Caroline. I hope you enjoy that. Yeah. And please know they love you. And they're going to be coming in your dreams again tonight. And pennies, pennies, they put pennies in the weird, all over, but in the weirdest spots also for you to find. That is your confirmation. They are around you. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. That was lovely. Thank you. Tony. You are absolutely, absolutely my pleasure. You are welcome. Everybody, I love you so stinking much. Um, uh, Saturday, I have two for Saturday. Saturday at noon it is. I will be back Saturday at noon. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much.